Hi guys, uh, I know people have been using DSLRs as film scanners. Um, I never got the opportunity to try it, uh, but I finally built my own. Um, it works pretty good. Uh, the scans are very good. Um, so I just want to share with you guys, uh, you know, what I have. Um, as you can see in the in the picture, is it's pretty crude. I have a shoe box. Um, I have a a film holder for the uh, uh, medium format or uh, uh, or four by five film that that came with my uh, flatbed scanner made by Canon. Uh, don't remember the model number, but. Um, so I ta I I taped it onto the shoe box. Uh, I have some uh, plexiglass uh, with paper on top of it as a light diffuser. I also have the Canon flash with triggers attached to it, um, and on top is a Canon 6D uh, with um, the 100 micro lens L. Um, <laughs> uh, also, a couple things uh, I want to add uh, just in case I run out of time at the end. Uh, for, for the settings, I'm using f5 and the exposure time is uh, 160th of a second. Uh, ISO 125. Uh, it, it took a uh, uh, a little bit of time to you know figure out what the correct exposure is you don't want it to be um, too too bright well oh, uh, I also want to mention the uh, flash is full power so yeah you, if you want to try this uh, you gotta experiment a little um, I, I don't worry about uh, ambient light at all because the flash is way more than ambient light um, so let's go right into it um, if I open the box you can see on the lid I have a, a piece of paper as a reflector reflecting the light coming from the uh, flash um, and that's the, the plexiglass with the uh, uh, copy paper uh, taped down to it and the plexiglass is held by the more tape um, as I flip the box uh, you can see the film holder is also taped but I use the uh, uh, some gaffer tape which doesn't leave a residue in case I want to recycle the film holder um, to support it I have a thick uh, book uh, I will never read um, yep so that's it that's holding it and you can see the flashlight uh, next to the box so slightly open the box and uh, stick the uh, flashlight uh, at the corner of the box um, you can see the uh, paper I use as an extra layer of diffuser which is also held by um, some sco uh, not scotch tape uh, gaffer tape um, so that's the film holder you can see through the hole uh, the uh, plexiglass diffuser at the bottom um, and the flashlight is jammed into the far corner of the box. Uh, it's far away from the film, so it doesn't. Um, uh, so the light is more even. Um, and that's the camera, uh, the box with some film, the whole setup. So here, turning on the trigger. Um, and the flashlight 
um, I'm gonna show you how to scan one row of uh, 120 film um, in about two minutes making some adjustment making sure that the uh, camera is perfectly parallel to the box um, and uh, make sure you focus on the film uh, using the um, uh, live view mode there you go first shot I have some uh, uh, clean room tiles on each side just to make sure they are the dust on the carpet doesn't get onto the uh, the film and I use uh, 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 some uh, paper towels to wipe uh, the uh, box to get rid of the dust uh, there's still gonna be dust but you know that's life uh, there's always dust um, so uh, the film was shot by uh, shot on a uh, contact 645 camera so there are 16 shots usually it takes me maybe an hour or so to scan on a flatbed scanner so uh, this is m way faster and you can see it took me about what two seconds to focus and maybe not that short but um, it was easier uh, on flatbed it, it depends on the film holder you're using sometimes it's impossible to get the focus perfectly right because of the shallow uh, depth of field for the scanner I don't know uh, the inner working of the uh, optics of flatbed scanners but apparently um, the uh, the depth of field is very shallow. And there it is. I'm done.